Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your October Tarot Horoscope Prediction Reading with me. I've changed the layout of the cards a little bit. We still have the four cards and at the end of the reading there is a one overall high energy vibration card for you to look at as well. The cards are, the first one is Relationship and Love, then Home and Personal, then Finances and Career, and finally Health. As we move into the month of October, it is a particularly busy month planet lineup wise, creating lots of um, fast moving energies. We have two eclipses, one lunar and one solar, and eclipses tend to bring about much change and um, purging of things, oops, sorry, purging of things that we may have wanted to keep hidden. And it's not just you that will be feeling it, it's a global thing and often these changes are tenuous and sit around for, you know, six months or so as we make the transition into a new way of looking forward and how we feel about ourselves and establishing what's important and not in our lives. There's also the Mercury retrograde in October, so it is a busy month, there will be lots of activity and energies around us one way or another. So let's move into your cards anyhow and we see here the first card for the relationship and love is the Eight of Swords. Now this sort of gives me the feeling that there may be a sense of holding back through worry or fear of being hurt. Um, and the, the, the reality is you sometimes have to just take that punt and do whatever it is that you're wanting to do because the truth may not be as bad as you think it could be and this could be in several different areas you know you may be thinking about relationships or changing them even and this may not be just romantic this can be friendships and it can be romance so that it feels as though there might be a change around you and you might be yeah stalling on that or holding back but there could be an inevitability that you will somehow move through that and go, well, I can see that I need to make some changes here. You know, possibly you might be sticking with someone who's no longer actually being serving you in the right way, who's not necessarily the right person for you. So, I get that feeling. And of course this can be friendships as well, which every time that you encounter these situations know that a new door opens and new wonderful energies and people and situations come into your life so we always must look at the positives whenever any leaving is around us that that vacuum is filled by newness coming in the other thing is if you're a Sagittarian out there looking for love you might be wise to look at how you love yourself first because it's really important to self-love because that vibrational energy is what you give back out so to attract someone into your life that you want uh, you want a positive happy loving caring person you're going to have to be feeling that about yourself as well to get that type of energy back in so think about that if you're on the look for a partner or love or romance in your life make sure you're feeling really good about yourself and then out you go and seek that new person. Now if we move into the next one, the Home and Personal, this is a major arcana card, and it's quite a karmic related card, and actually quite spiritual. So it's called the Hanged Man. It, it insinuates that you might be at a crossroads, and it's a time where you would benefit from taking some peace and quiet and solitude. It feels as if you may be wanting to do something, but you're not quite sure what it is or what, what direction to go. So this is where if you take a little bit of time out, you can work through, you know, at a quiet personal level and decide, okay, so what needs to change in my life? Are there things I need to let go of? Are there any outdated attitudes that aren't serving me or people or friendships or anything this this could be about anything in your life that just crops up i think you kind of maybe even find some spiritual connection that you've not been involved with before so there's quite a lot of change coming 
moving forward at quite deep levels for you Sagittarian and as I was saying it appears to be that way for most everyone in the month of October it is a big month of change so most of us are going to be feeling it at one level or another I think the other thing is it talks about choosing positive thoughts as you move through and uh, focusing on the positive and I keep saying that so these are the messages I'm getting for you pretty much for October I've also been receiving a lot of messages about balance and that we need to keep balance and patience as well now if we move on to the next card which is the finances and career card you've received the ace of swords and this is an aces are always quite positive cards they're empowering because they are new beginnings and they usually get that energy flow going like Pew! this is the number one this is all about new and this is the sword that does it so it can be started your new beginnings can be started by a separation of some sort but again don't be afraid about this and that comes back to this card here in the beginning so you may even contemplate leaving your work and this may happen for a variety of reasons it may be because you you leave a whole lot of situations in your life behind and move into a new sphere and again it's about letting go of any anxiety associated with that and embrace the change and know that change is taking you forward and that's positive because it's growth and it's learning if you're not thinking of leaving your job you could come up with some really good ideas or strategies policies or procedures that will benefit your workplace and remember too that sometimes it takes time to be acknowledged for these um, things to be put into place so again have patience about getting your acknowledgement it will come for you the other thing is don't take chances with your finances this month coming up in October so be patient again and don't invest money that you can't afford to lose and the other thing is be careful with borrowing or lending any money out because there's a possibility that if you lend money especially to friends you may not get it all back or you may not get it back when you need it and this can put stress on those friendships so anyhow we'll move on to the health card the knight of swords now this card's full of energy you can see it there you can't get much faster than that look at this guy he's just on his horse roaring through the air he's all go and I think often Sagittarians that's what you're like you've got that you know fire energy and rah -de rah we're all fired up and away we go so you've actually got a lot of energy and that's really great but I think again balance that energy and remember to take some time out and to slow down occasionally but the overall message of the card is that you do have the, the know how to actually um, self-medicate if you like and to look after your own health so listen to your gut feel and what you're hearing about yourself listen to the messages you're receiving because you're the one that will know whether or not you need to make a few changes or slow down or or do a bit of this or a bit of that you're your own best doctor for the month coming up so overall your health looks pretty promising really Sagittarians now that's about our main reading what we're going to do next is look at this final card for you and we will do that by we will do that by shuffling this beautiful deck of higher vibrational energies and seeing which one arrives for you and it's Michael the beautiful higher vibration energy of Michael and the purple ray and the key word is patience and it's funny I'm definitely getting that message quite strongly for October this is a beautiful card to have and patience is a gift it's a virtue and often the fire signs we don't have much patience we sort of you know out there already with um, lots of energy but patience is a virtue as I say and I think if you any time during the month you can call on this powerful energy to work through any issues you may have or at times when you feel you need a bit of guided patience to deal with others or your own issues that you're thinking about 
it's sort of a, a message that says remember that Rome wasn't built in a day and you can look at the pyramid there and know that it took thousands and thousands of years to create that amazing masterpiece of work and life's a little bit like that it's about you know one step at a time and knowing that we are getting to the end step slowly by a gradual process of of walking through life and um, know that your rush to manifest things is happening but it will just come as it's as it's going to come or arrive it's a it's a 